Welcome to Thriving Tribes, my name is Corey, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. Today, we're going to be talking about how to break free from being slave to her sexual validation. And before I go into it, I just want to say, guys, thank you very much for the um, feedback that you've given on Instagram and all the kind words that you're saying. Even you guys, the therapists that have come on and um, tell me that I'm completely wrong with the stuff that I'm teaching. I know there's a few guys that are within Reignited Men that are getting the best results. They've been to, through therapists, they've been through other programs, and we're actually changing the world because these guys now, I'm helping them to help their friends as well. And we're changing the world slowly by slowly, marriage by marriage. So I know some of you guys had Thanksgiving, and that's probably the most difficult time within... Uh, your relationships because now you're around family and then you have to pretend that everything is okay in a relationship when it's not so i know that is very difficult for you guys and you've come out of it sometimes feeling more bruised than the last time you got rejected so there's one of the things that i wanted you guys to have and to take away today which is that a lot of you guys are slave to her sexual validation and therefore by being as by being a slave to this you are actually doing more harm than any good because again the problem becomes um you don't understand your worth and because you don't understand your worth this is what's pushing into slavery now when you don't know what you're worth generally what that means is that uh, i don't feel good enough i don't feel like i qualify to be the guy that is sexually available to this woman. So in order to get this woman, I have to be industrious. I have to do certain things in order to earn a validation. And therefore, you bend to her will. In fact, what I mean by that is that you lower your standards in terms of how much you can invest into the relationship. And therefore, by lowering those standards, and usually it's out of this mindset of if I can lower the the amount that she puts in and what that looks like is like uh, again it could be actual physical acts so for example when it comes to washing the dishes and cleaning the house looking after the kids uh, doing stuff around the house where she could be doing and contributing you remove that in order to make her more relaxed again all of that is contributes to you for her to look look at you and lose respect over that now i'm not saying don't do dishes i do dishes all the time i wash the clothes i clean the house i hoover the house i do all of that but i do it without any expectation for sex and that's the the, the distinction now so in terms of standards uh when it comes to some places where she needs to invest whether it's emotionally or physically I require her to help to be able to invest. And I'm talking about my, my wife, by the way. I require her to invest. And if she, if the investment is subpar, then there's no way uh, we're going for any further. And I was saying to this, then when it comes to standards, then uh, I, I could, this friend of mine is uh, uh, is an engineer like I am, and his like me, I'm obsessed with relationships, and I will go crazy on it. And I can, I just, I, I've just been diving into this rabbit hole for so many years that um you know it's i'm completely obsessed his to him his obsession is coffee and <laughs> the 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 guy is completely obsessed with coffee to the point that he when you go to his house as soon as you open his door all you smell is coffee coffee beans by the way and he's got coffee beans that are sectioned based off where they come from in the world and he he has them specifically from certain parts of the world based off of uh, whether they are north of the equator or south of the equator, uh, time period under sunlight, uh, type of soil that they'd be growing on. I mean, this this is granular. This is like real obsession. And when it comes to making coffee, you know, he's got all these different tools that he uses, like this thing that grinds it and then this thing that then... But, I mean, this guy is completely obsessed, and he, when he makes a coffee, it becomes, for me, it tastes better. It just tastes like coffee. It makes, to me, and hopefully you guys don't know him, and you don't tell him I said that, but to me, it's just coffee. To him, there's some significance to when he's drinking it, and 
for him it to be top quality. So when I'm trying to insult him, I tell you, say, oh, I really enjoyed that vending machine coffee. And it's to him, it's an insult. Like, oh my God, how can you drink that rubbish? It tastes like urine. You should never drink that shit. And, you know, so there's this real difference in terms of levels and standards of where when he drinks coffee. And you guys, some of you guys, in terms of standards, you're the vending machine guy. You like the vending machine and you've communicated this to her that this is who I am. I am this low value thing. And when you don't have any self-worth, this is what you're communicating to her. Whereas in order to have more sex and for her to invest, you say, I'm this top tier guy. I'm the coffee that's south of the equator that has whatever 13 hours of sunlight in order for the bean to be whatever reach and you know what i'm talking about that as you raise you know that standard as you raise that standard it's it comes with the fact that you understand your self-worth as your self-worth arises your self your standards arise and so when she's contributing and the con- that contribution is subpar she will know that it's up her and you'll be able to communicate that that's how, that's that's um, below the standard that is required in order to be contributing to this relationship in order for us to grow. Because when it comes to sex and seduction and for you guys to to have sex and have it in a way that is fulfilling and a way that is continuous and for forever, a lot of it is going to come down to the fact that the contribution that she's doing is something that she's doing in a way that she's building confidence in herself within those sexual encounters. Because a lot of you guys, you sort of do everything for her that she never builds any comfort around it. She never builds any confidence around it. So never, she never feels comfortable going into it. And that's why sometimes she goes into a season where she's okay going into it and then she falls out of it. Whereas if she builds confidence around it, and you know what it is, what they say, confidence builds competence, this is the reason why that her investment is very, very important. Because when you raise your standards and say, okay, this is what I need you in order to, to, to," it's almost like a buy-in. So she has to buy into the relationship because you know your self-worth. You are an important part of this relationship and she has to chase you as much as you're chasing her. And in fact, she probably needs to chase you more right now because you've been doing all the chasing for all these years and you need to flip the script so it's different. So again, when you raise the standards, it's, it's gonna help you break free from being slave to a validation because now when you are sure of yourself and you know what you're worth and when you know that, then her validation doesn't mean anything to you because you are already full. You know what you what you're worth. You know what you what is required. What is required in order to engage you and interact with you. And she ha- she will know that, and she will raise a game. And when she raises a game, again, part of it again is the reason why you're breaking uh, slavery, uh, breaking away from it. Sorry, I'm mumbling my words there. Is that uh, when you know slave to a validation, it is becomes a partnership. Because when you're not in your uh, slave to a, a validation, she takes the leadership frame and therefore you are more likely to be losing respect every time you pr- approach the sex subject. So it's very, very important that you actually start thinking more along the lines, how do I build my self-worth? And I think there's several things that we can, we've talked about in this episode, in the, in the episode I'll be potentially making. Now, if you're not sure what to do in terms of building your self-worth, go to thriving underscore tribesmen, and then you can ask the questions that you want to ask in terms of your particular case and your particular relationship, and then we can guide you through it. If it means, if I can give you instruction through a podcast episode, then I can do that as well. So thank you very much for listening. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Take care.